Well, here we are again with Ashes of the Singularity and alleged benchmarks of AMD's next generation Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards based on the RDNA 2 GPU architecture have leaked out here. Now, the benchmarks were carried out on an Ashes of the Singularity performance test and spotted by Rogame and Tomb Apisak. Now, the specific GPU or graphics card is not mentioned, but as per the score, we can't say for sure that this is a big Navi GPU specifically, or if it's a smaller SKU. AMD has recently announced that it will unveil its Radeon RX 6000 series lineup on October 28th, so based on that, we can expect several graphics cards within the lineup. The one leaked within the benchmarks may just be one of them and not exactly the fastest variant. With that said, the graphics card features a score between 5900 and 6200 points at the 4K resolution using the crazy preset. Now the graphics was evaluated under the DirectX 11 API with a Core i9-9900K 8-core CPU. The graphics card delivers an average of around 60 FPS in the game. In terms of performance, the alleged Radeon RX 6000 RDNA graphics card is around 20% faster than a heavily overclocked Radeon RX 5700 XT card on average in this game. Now the card is on par with the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, which scores 63 FPS or 6100 points at stock, but when overclocked, the RTX 2080 Ti scores up to 79 FPS or 7800 points, which ends up being around 25% faster than the alleged RX 6000 series graphics cards. Now we don't know the overclocking potential of AMD's upcoming cards, but it looks like we'll be getting more specifications in the coming month. Also, the GeForce RTX 3080's latest performance results leaked out within AOTS benchmark and shows an average FPS of 98 with a score of 9600. These put the GeForce RTX 3080 about 25% faster than a heavily overclocked RTX 2080 Ti and about 55% faster than the alleged RX 6000 series graphics card. Now as per Rogame, AMD said to introduce its new Navi 21 and Navi 22 GPU based graphics card under the Radeon RX 6000 series lineup. Both of these are said to be much bigger than Navi 10 and in terms of performance, the Navi 21 GPU should tackle the higher end RTX 3080 while the Navi 22 GPUs will be positioned against the RTX 3070 series variants. Now based on that, it's highly likely that we're looking at results of Navi 22. Another thing to keep in mind is that these are still early performance tests and as launch comes closer we'll be looking at an even higher performance with better tuned drivers for the cards. A recently leaked picture of AMD's Radeon RX 6000 engineering sample unveiled up to 16GB of GDDR6 memory across a 256-bit wide bus interface. The leaker who posted the picture mentioned that this housed the big Navi GPU, but once again, we aren't sure if he's referring to Navi 21 or Navi 22. But based on the previous rumors and leaks, it's Navi 21 that has been referred to as Big Navi, while all other GPUs are referred to as standard RDNA 2 SKUs. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.